सो नमस्ते टू ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन एंड आल्सो वेलकम इन दिस मॉर्निंग सेशन वी आर वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग एक्सरसाइज टू एंड इन एक्सरसाइज टू वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग टू ऑब्जर्व द बॉडी एंड वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग टू ऑब्जर्व द इंट्रैक्शन बिटवीन मी एंड द बॉडी and when we are practicing exercise 2 all the steps of exercise 1 are in the background so let me brief the four step and then today we will unfold the step 5 so in step 1 of exercise 2 we are trying to observe myself and body so we are observing my activities i am observing my activities i am observing activities of the body and based on this direct observation we can say that there are two realities one is conscious unit second is material unit that is body and both the realities are distinct so there are two distinct realities so i exist and body exist i exist because i can observe my activities directly for example desire thought expectations body exists because i can also observe physiochemical activities taking place in the body so based on this direct observation we can say that both reality exist distinctly then in step 2 we are trying to observe the interaction between me and the body so interaction is taking place between me and the body i give instruction to the body i read sensation happening in the body and these instructions and reading sensation is an information so instructions are also information sensation that taking place i am reading is also an information so the interaction between the self and body is only in the form of information no physiochemical things is being exchanged between the two realities so only information is being exchanged so when i instruct the body that is in the form of information and body just follows it and when i decide to read the sensation i read the sensations happening in the body and it is also in the form of sensation uh, information so we can say that the interaction between me and the body is only in the form of information not of any physiochemical things so once i am aware that only information is being exchanged between me and the body then in step 3 we are trying to see who is the decision maker so with observation we are able to see that this is self this is me who decides to give instruction to the body this is me who decides to read specific sensations from the body so many sensations are taking place but i decide which sensation to be read so in that sense we can say that decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely mine i interact with the body whenever i think to interact i give instruction to body whenever i think it is important to give instruction so decision is mine this we are trying to observe in step 3 and with this we can see that i am here 
I am doer, I am enjoyer. So I am seer because I have potential to observe my activities as well as activities of the body. I am doer because I decide when to interact with the body, when to give instruction to the body, when to read the sensation happening in the body. And whatever I decide, I experience happiness and unhappiness of those decisions. So in that sense, I am enjoyer. So I am observer, I am doer, I am experiencer. If it is clear to me that I am seer, doer and enjoyer, then we can say body is just my instrument. So I can use body as and when required. So with this step 1, 2, 3 and all 7 steps of exercise 1 in the background, we can say that body is just an instrument. So this we have to observe whether we are using our body as an instrument or we are using our body to get favorable sensation, to get favorable taste, etc. So once we are clear that body is my instrument, then we can right utilize our body in the right manner. With this, we talked about step four. In step four, I am reading the sensation that is taking place in my body. And while reading this sensation, I am asking myself, am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I separate from the sensation? This step is very important step in the sense that with this observation, I can see that I am separate from the body. I am separate from each sensation of the body. So we can say I am not a body. I am conscious unit. So once it is clear that there is a separation between me and the body, then it is my choice to read the sensation or not to read the sensation. So with this step 4, we can say that I am not bounded with the body. I am with the body, with my choice. I am not bounded with the body. So in that, same, in that sense, step 4 is important. With this step 4, once I am clear that I am separate from the body, now in step 5, we are trying to observe how the interaction between the two and the world outside is taking place. So, in step 5, yesterday we talked about the four sources of sensation. So first source is someone is interacting with me. So when someone interacts with me, his or her sound, words, touch, whatever happens in interaction, it first reaches to my body. So for example, someone calls me so it sounds reaches to my eardrum and due to that there are sensation in the body. Now it is my choice to read that sensation or not. A step in this uh, second source of this sensation is some physiochemical change are happening outside and it has an effect on the body. So, for example, there is a cold outside, there is a heat outside and it touches my body and with this there is an effect on my body. And due to that, some sensations are taking place in the body and I can read that sensation, I cannot read the sensation. Similarly, one possible source could be 
the events which are happening within the body. So for example, when we eat food, digestion take place. There may be agitation in my stomach. There may be itching in my body. All these events happening within my body due to some internal activities. So it is also a possible source of sensation. Again, it is my choice to read that sensation or not to read that sensation. Then fourth possible source is my imagination. So I have some feeling in me, maybe feeling of relationship, feeling of a position. And maybe I am in peace, worries, anxiety. So something is happening in my imagine, imagination and I am not aware and it is now impacting my body. So when, for example, when we have contradictory thoughts and I am not able to resolve these thoughts in myself, then soon we can feel a headache in my body. So this headache is an outcome or impact of the state of ima my imagination. So due to that, there are sensations in the body. So these possible four sources we discussed yesterday, that these sources are having effect on the body in the form of sensation. And because I am separate, from the sensation as we discussed in step 5. Now I have a choice to read this sensation or not to read these sensations. So we were discussing these four sources yesterday and a few people shared about these four sources of the sensation. Now we will discuss all these sources in depth how the self is involved with this sensation. So this we will discuss in these four steps. One by one, then we will unfold this step five in more detail. So for example, if we take source of behavior of other human being, so suppose someone speaks, someone touch. You know. So when someone speaks, a sound touches my ear, you know, ear, ear drum. So when this sound touches my ear, some physiochemical activities take place in my body or especially in my ear. Now this is only a physiochemical activity. This is only a sensation, nothing else. So when someone speaks, for example, I am speaking, sound is coming to your ear. And when this sound touches your ear, some sensation takes place. This is happening at the level of body only a physiochemical activity, only a sensation. So this is, this happens up to the body. Now I, if I am aware and I decide to read, then I taste that sensation. And I taste that sensation and associate some meaning to the sensation in conjunction with my sanskar. And these sanskar may be based on knowing or may be based on assuming. So this is how the self is involved while reading the sensation. So suppose I am speaking, the sound is coming to your ear. Now you are able to interpret the word because you know English because you have English language in your imagination, in your consciousness. 
so with that language i am able to interpret that sensation otherwise sensation is sensation only but we have practiced many times how to read that sensation how to associate with my language so whenever my voice touches your ear because you know english that's why you associate some meaning you give some meaning to that sensation once when you are giving this meaning some meaning to that sensation it means now you are involved your sanskars are now involved so if you don't know english language suppose someone is speaking in chinese and we don't know chinese language so it will be only a sound for us we won't be able to interpret anything it will be only a sound for us but when a per chinese person listen to that sound because he has language in his mind that's why he is able to associate or that's why he gives some meaning to that sound otherwise at the level of body only sensation is taking place because we have background of that language that's why on the basis of that language we give some meaning to the sensation so because now i am involved i am giving meaning and that meaning may be based on knowing that meaning may be based on assuming but our sanskars are involved when give meaning to the sensation now we have to observe this we have to observe the sensation take place in the body and we have to observe how i am giving to meaning how how i am giving meaning to that sensation now there are two parts you know one is sensation is taking place another is i am giving some meaning to that sensation because i have lang uh, language in my mind so i have made some conclusion in myself this word is right this word is wrong these words are good these words are not good these words are abusive words these words are good words we have many assumptions we have many conclusions in ourselves and once i read that sensation then i compare with the with my assumption in and if those words fit into my conclusion my decision or my assumptions or with my sanskar then we say then we feel happy that these words are good words and when these words do not match with my sanskar with my assumptions with my decisions then we may feel unhappy in ourself so what is happening let me sum up in a few line now you have to observe when i am speaking sounds are sounds is coming into your ear now there is a sensation in your ear at your body level this is only sensation nothing happen only sensation is taking place at the level of body now if you decide you start reading that sensation and because you have background of language that's why you are able to interpret that sensation and once you read that sensation you interpret that sensation and now it is happening with in the self now self is involved so sounds has come now self is working so i am interpreting 
that word based on my language and i am getting happy or unhappy because of my sanskar so if someone speak abusive language abusive word so at the level of body only sensation takes place sound comes touches your body and a sensation takes place only this has happened at the level of body but now i read that sensation with my decision and with my sanskar if those words matches with my sanskar we feel happy if those words do not match with my sanskar i feel unhappy so this is how the self is giving meaning to the sensation and self is feeling happy or unhappy are we able to see it so you can ask yourself are we able to see it how i am giving meaning to the sensation sensation is only a sensation a physiochemical activity but i am reading that sensation with my sanskar with my assumptions with my maybe knowing and i feel happy or unhappy but sensation is only a sensation so let's observe this for 5 minutes and many sounds are taking place in your environment you just observe it and and you first read the sensation first you decide whether i have to read the sensation or not once you decide you read that sensation and when reading the sensation be aware how i am giving meaning to that sensation how i am associating meaning to that sensation in conjunction with my sanskar because i know that language that's why i give some meaning to that sensation because i have some assumption that this is good this is not good so whenever that interpretation of sensation is not according to my sanskar i feel unhappy when it is according to my sanskar my interpretation is according to my sanskar i feel happy now happiness or unhappiness is based on my interpretation is based on my sanskar at the level of body only sensation has taken place so we will observe it for 5 minutes with awareness you know with awareness so step 1 i have to decide yes i will read the sensation happening in the body due to others behavior step 2 i will be aware how i am giving meaning to that sensation how i am giving meaning to that physiochemical activities and with this meaning you know my sanskars are involved and because of those sanskar i am i declare it is right or wrong and based on that decision right or wrong i feel happy or unhappy otherwise at the level of body only sensation has taken place nothing else so let's let us observe this for 5 minutes with full awareness then we will take sharing of few of us so just 5 minutes observe it with full awareness so it 555 at 6 we will back sit comfortably and observe this how i get involved when i read any sensation of the body so just for 5 minutes
so let's come back we can share our observation of this source behavior of other human being uh abhi जो हमारा बीस तीस मिनट डिस्कशन चल रहा वो सभी मोस्ट मोस्ट ऑफ इट वाज ऑन द सेंसेशन एंड पर्टिकुलरली हियरिंग द साउंड इज इट इट एंड दैट टू बी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अदर पर्सन सो नाउ ड्यूरिंग दिस लास्ट फाइव मिनट्स आई कैन सी दैट देयर वाज अ थंडर साउंडिंग थंडर थंडर साउंडिंग सो इमीडिएटली एज ए सेंसेशन और रिस्पॉन्स टू देंसेशन बॉडी थॉट बॉडी गिवन द सेंसेशन ऑफ हियरिंग द साउंड एंड माई सेल्फ observe that my umbrella is there this is number 1 before that uh, when my partner given me the uh, bottle so there was the sensation of the thirst and i was filling my bottle before coming to the session or leaving the hostel i had kept my spect on the table bottle and umbrella all the three things out of that while filling the bottle i thought that my spect is missing while raising the hand it was a problem then i went further and then uh, i am doing all the things so what is my observation in this all 30 minutes you can say or 5 minutes so whatever is the importance given by the self it is in the sequence at this moment if it feels uh, requirement or important it gives the instruction and if not for example uh, forgetting of the spect it was the earlier instruction but filling the water bottle or watching for the umbrella is the immediate requirement so i think it happens uh, in the body and accordingly self decides ji bhaiya can you comment on this thank you please so let's uh, discuss your sharing ji slowly thoda na for example ji, ji. when there is a thunder sound ji and now this sound has reaches to your ear right ji at that moment mm -hmm. are we aware that some sensation has taken place in my ear ji this we have to observe and each time in each event each event okay suppose a glass falls down and it ji create a sound ji and this sound has reaches to my ear ji and i am reading that sound because i have taken decision to read it ji and this is the sensation only we have to be aware while listening any sound hearing ji. any sound ji ji once i am aware that with my decision i am reading mm -hmm. this sensation mm -hmm. then we have to be aware i am able to give it name like for example umbrella ji now i am i am saying this is an umbrella because i have some background of language and because of this language i have hmm. associated a meaning to that object okay and so when you see umbrella what has hmm. what happened a image comes to your eyes ji right and if you decide you read that image and once you read that image then now you are able to say that it is umbrella because you have some language in your mind and you have given meaning to this object that i will call it as a umbrella that's why you are able to identify it as umbrella ji so here your self is involved and you know? here i am involved ji ji so when when i come into picture am i mm -hmm. aware this is the objective of this exercise ji so i am observing sensation as a sensation when i get involved in this sensation ji i have to be involved with awareness yes this sensation has taken place in my body Ji. now with awareness i am involving with this sensation based on my sanskar i am giving it some name Ji. based on my sanskar for example uh, there is a thunder sound ji now i am feeling happy or unhappy <laughs> so, so i am feeling happy, happy because of my sanskar and yeah. my sanskar and is it is a good environment outside 
so i have concluded i have my sanskar that whenever is an environment good environment outside Jee. then i will feel happy Jee. so purpose of this exercise is to observe sensation as a sensation Jee. and my involvement with awareness that now i am getting involved into this sensation this awareness is required this is purpose of this exercise ji 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 bhaiya one minute uh, I, I, i have one question just uh, a minute ha 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 if that um, i cannot see the umbrella then mm. i become unhappy sensation again yes ji yes. right okay. you will okay. be unhappy you are unhappy ji yes. na and you have to find out the reason why you are unhappy because <laughs> you have not got you have not got umbrella this is the cause of your unhappiness ji or some other reasons that you have to find so we have to observe this with awareness and you know? awareness means i am aware that some sensation has taken place in my body i am aware that sensation is now taking place my in my body now i am giving some meaning to it this we have to observe you know with attention we have to pay attention on it now i am getting involved in this sensation and now whatever is whatever i am interpreted interpreting this sensation my sanskars are also involved only this we have to observe so the purpose of this exercise this observation is to observe sensation as a sensation and my involvement as my involvement and you know, how i interpret that sensation how i give meaning to that sensation when i come into picture this we have to observe carefully with awareness right so, so yeah i me, have uh, a, a question yes yes Yes. in same connection uh, mm -hmm. we are coming along with prashant bhaiya and the thunder sound appears and we is i see left and right and immediately few uh, few steps in front of me a uh, uh, mango old mango tree broke in between and then uh, i uh, some worried somewhat worried and then move on from side by side then uh, a girls hostel one a didi come in front of me and uh, ask uh, bhaiya do you have some problem then i see my sensation some fearness and, and the concern about that particular lady as well so you know let's observe this sharing and you know, slowly what we do we mix up many steps but what we are trying what we are trying in this exercise to go step and sub steps and sub steps and observe with awareness this is what we are trying into this exercise so let's take this example due to this thunder a tree has broken this is one event and there is a broken tree this is one event now i have seen that tree because some image has come into my eyes that image has come into my eyes that thunder sound has touches to my body this is happening at the level of body so we have to see it with awareness I, am i aware that this has happened at the level of body only then when i read that sensation and i listen that i hear that sound now i am going i am involving myself while reading this sensation am i aware and when yeah. i giving some meaning yes this is broken tree hai na this is broken tree I now i have to sound what? then stop me for a while and then uh, tree yes, broke yes. in front of me Wait. when when you 
है ना अगेन भैया व्हाट डिड यू से लास्ट टाइम आई लिसन थंडर साउंड एंड अ ट्री ब्रोक इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी स्टेप स्टॉप फॉर अ वाइल जी so the point is we have to go into this process of observation and when we are going into this process of the observation are we aware of each sub steps sub steps means something has taken place outside it has reaches to our body and i am aware yes now some sensation has taken place then we give we are giving some meaning to it and that meaning is based on my assumption or sanskar and based on that sanskar i am feeling good bad fear relax anything then i am taking decision what to do outside yeah and but are we aware of these sub steps so in this behavior of other human being in this step we are only asking to just observe okay when some sensation take place are we aware yes this has happened at the level of body when i am able to see this with awareness then i am giving some meaning to that sensation are we observing yes, it with awareness yes now i am giving some meaning yes, to this you know this uh, sensation so we have to do with awareness right bhaiya yeah bhaiya so there are many steps that you have talked about that incident but that many steps there are many pauses also step 1 sub step 2 sub step 3 sub step 4 are we aware of all those sub steps this is the objective of this exercise so let's take another sharing we will practice it gradually let's take another sharing so we have nemani ji with us regarding this topic just now i put a pressure cooker so uh, my concentration is uh, i have put uh, rice rice so, so uh, i am observing that if the three whistles will come so i have to switch off otherwise uh, the rice will be uh, in uh, cooked uh, overcooked so this is my observation present bhaiya so i am okay. observing the how many whistles they are coming uh, so uh, it is uh, if it is the three whistles it is okay it, it is cooked very uh, good good manner so uh, after four, four or five minutes uh, five minutes uh, four or five whistles then it will be overcooked so it uh, the rice will be in is not in a proper manner so i am observing for that so the three whistles come then i switched off that uh, uh, cooker this is my observation okay ji so observation so if we talk about this observation of this event mm -hmm. so there is a whistle outside mm -hmm. this whistle sound comes into my ear mm -hmm. am i aware that time that now this whistle sound has reaches to my ear yeah huh. and some yeah. sensation is taking place mm -hmm. am i aware or am i directly listening to that uh, whistle mm -hmm. uh, whistle is happening this is one part it reaches huh. to our ear yeah. this is huh. next step mm -hmm. and i am deciding to read this uh, sensation mm -hmm. that's why i am reading this sensation hmm hmm this is next part and okay, okay. because of my assumptions or because of my past decisions now i am deciding hmm. that this is a sound of whistle because i hmm. have background 
uh, something mm-hmm. in my background in my imagination mm-hmm. with that background i am able to recognize that this is a whistle a cooker whistle sound ha 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 then i am deciding based on my past experiences or assumptions you know or information ha, ha. that after three hmm. whistle i will switch it off ha ha okay hmm. and all these things are happening but ha, are ha. we able to see it step by step this ha, is okay. the objective of this exercise are we able to see it step by step with awareness ha 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 as well this we have to do didi ha 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 as well hmm. okay thank you okay so let me uh, show all the four points then it will help you to read more sensation and more scope it will give you more scope so next source is physiochemical event as didi was telling so some physiochemical event take place outside now it touches to my body it has some effect on my body and if i am aware i decide i read that sensation and again i associate some meaning to the sensation in conjunction with my sanskar this we have to observe slowly this we have to observe carefully this have we have to observe with awareness hai na it is not so immediate that thunder sound there is a thunder sound it has now i am listening to that thunder sound it is not so immediate there is a thunder sound it is reaching to our into our ear i decide to read this sensation that's why i am reading that sensation and i am saying that this is a thunder sound because i have some words i have some meaning to that particular sign sound that's why i am saying this is a thunder sound now what will happen in me after listening this thunder sound it will depend on my sanskar i may be happy i may not be happy so we have to observe this sequence very carefully with sharp awareness you know these events are not happening so immediately so we have to be more aware while observing any physiochemical event outside while observing sensation due to event in the body while happening some sensation due to imagination in the uh, due to some feelings or thoughts in me which has impacted my body and i am reading that sensation but the question is are we observing it with awareness if we do this with awareness then we will be able to see when i come into picture every whatever is happening happening at the level of body there is a sound of whistle some sensation sensation has taken place in my body it has happened at the level of body only rest thing am i aware when i get involved into this sensation what meaning i am giving to this sensation how i am able to recognize that this is a thunder sound this is a whistle sound how i am able to recognize are we aware of this that now i am getting involved into this sensation so we have to observe it with awareness and the more we will observe it with awareness the more we will be able to see many sub steps in this whole process and the more steps we will be able to see the more it will be more clear to us that there are many sub steps where i can take pause where i can correct my sanskar etc so this we have to observe very carefully with full awareness so now all the four sources are in the screen we can take pause another for 5 minutes another pause if we don't have sharing of others and this time we will observe it with more awareness 
awareness what has happened at the level of body when i am getting involved into this sensation and what meaning i am giving to this sensation all this we have to observe carefully so let's take another 2 to 3 minute pause then we will take one sharing and we will practice it again and again just for 3 minutes we will observe and we will observe the sensation of the body you know the source of the sensation of the body and when i come into the picture this we will observe in this process so let's take break not break let's take pause and just observe your sensation and then we will take one sharing for 3 minutes observation okay so if anyone anyone want to share you know what you have observed and when you are observing the sensations are you aware what has happened at the level of body when you come into the picture how do you associate this sensation with some meaning so are we aware of this or not have we observed it with awareness or not so this observation is important so during my observation so i am sitting in my dining table so in mm-hmm. the time my mom is uh, making a tea for me early morning ji so the tea So I observed during my observation that tea smell is smell by my nose. So I immediately take the decision. So my mom will be prepare a tea for myself. So after this, so I will take the decision. So I am going to take a cup of tea this morning. So after that only I carry in my early morning work. So this is the observation for during this two minutes period. Yeah. so you sensed some smell of tea yes 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 <laughs> this yes. was one step yes by yes so once you sensed this when you read this sensation of smelling so yes, now yes. you are interpreted interpreting that this is a smell of tea right yes 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 by i Because make the decision. you have yes because you have this association in your mind 
that's why you are able to interpret that this smell is the smell of tea oh, otherwise yes, what no. has happened yes otherwise otherwise what has happened the smell come to comes to your nose you read it and when you read it you are reading it with some meaning yes yes, yes. so here your self is involved here your mind is involved so because we have you know this association of this smell and the word tea that's why with mm. that smell i am mm. able to say that this is a smell of tea it means tea mm. is being prepared by mother yes 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 right so yes, very bhai. nice bhaiya very good okay. that you are able to see both the part when i come into picture and what is happening at the level of body yes yes bhai yes bhai right so only yes, this we have to practice all the time when okay. i come into the picture mm -hmm. then slowly we will move into our sanskar how we are giving meaning to this how mm -hmm. we are getting happiness or unhappiness from this reading sensation this we will move gradually mm -hmm. so so let me brief this observation again what we have to do we have to observe only oh. we have to observe it very uh, with a very awareness with carefully oh, no. something happen outside it touches my body and when something touches my body some sensations take place so am i aware that first thing is that some sensation has taken place in my body now i am deciding that's why i am reading that sensation number 1 number 2 i am reading that sensation with some background with some assumption otherwise it is only a sound nothing else but for me it is not a sound it is an object and immediately we start imaging that object with reading sensation only as for example as bhaiya said with the smell he was able to figure it out that his mother is preparing a tea how it has happened because we have some association in me with the objects with the sensations that's why we are able to figure out all those things so we will practice it tomorrow again Okay. so till tomorrow you is keep practicing it